Morning all, post has come in again, so it's post bag. And the first item is an electronic module. And it is, well that's an Arduino Pro Mini. So what's special about it? Let's have a look. So these are from Banggood and their Arduino Pro Mini, 3.3 uh, volt, 8 megahertz. Now there are two of these uh, in the package. And uh, on the back, there is a little line of markings here, but they've not been marked. So I'm actually gonna mark these now so that I don't forget that they're 3.3 volt and that they're 8 megahertz. So there they are with little dots on the 3.3 volt and the 8 megahertz uh, boxes. Now that's just so that I don't forget what type they are. Um, now identifying them without that would be quite tricky. The metal can on the crystal does have 80.0 written on it. Let me see if I can uh, show that. It's uh, not very distinct. I'm having to use a double magnifying glass, but uh, there it is. Now on the SMD regulator, it's got 9B27, and I'm having a job uh, finding a code for that, but uh, that must be a 3.3 volt regulator. Now these are to replace the 3.3 uh, volt Arduino Pro Mini on my wearables device project with the uh, OLED and the Data, the NRF 24LO1 Plus data transceiver. And what I wanna do this time is lay it all out flat. So I'm gonna remove the pins from this uh, OLED. Now this is the slightly bigger one. This is the 1.3 inch, which I think I'll use. And I want to try and arrange it so that the Arduino and the OLED are hardwired with wire links running across. And I'm gonna try and get them all to run in a set of parallel lines if that's possible so that this uh, thing will be basically folded out flat but we'll have the ability that you can how would it work this would bend behind but it would bend over and sandwich behind um, this OLED that's the plan so all the elements of the project are going to be laid out something like this the OLED will wire directly to the low number digital pins of the Arduino the NRF transceiver will sit to one side and the battery uh, stack will sit to the other. And then, as I say, they can all be sort of folded in to make a sandwich of all the parts. So the 3.3 volt, 8 megahertz Arduino Pro Minis uh, came from Banggood. They are £2.55 each with free shipping and their part number SKU 106097. Right, next we have electronic parts. And this is... Oh, it's more Arduino Pro Minis. And they're probably 3.3 volts. I did have a bit of a 3.3 volt Pro Mini buying spree. Now, these ones are marked Deke Robot. Uh, once again, they have the boxes on the back to indicate the voltage and the crystal frequency, but they're not filled in. And once again, I bought two of these, so I'm just gonna mark these up. Now on these ones, it looks like the crystal says 80S. So that's kind of a hint at eight megahertz. The regulator helpfully says LG33. So that's uh, a good indicator that it's a 3.3 volt. So let's just do a quick comparison between the Deke Robot one at the top and the Spark Fun one at the bottom. Um, these six pins are all the same because they're for the programming header. Now the Deke one says DTR at the top and ground at the bottom. And the Spark Fun says black at the top and green at the bottom, but their functions are the same. Now it looks like the Deke Robot has a 400 milliamp polyfuse. Can't see a polyfuse on the Spark fun one. Uh, pins A4 and A5 are up here set into the board a bit. They're the same on both boards but the SparkFun has A6 and A7 on these two pins 
whereas the deek one has them A6 and A7 on the edge of the board. And also an additional ground, which is really quite handy sometimes. The uh, spark fan, I think this is the spark fan, doesn't have that additional ground along that edge. And if we look at the back, you can see A4 and A5 uh, up there on the deke and on the spark fan, A4, A5, and also A6, A7 set into the board. So these deke robot ones came from eBay. Um, and they were, well, 99p, but the postage was 190. So what does that make it? 290, 289 each these were. And they come from eMarket for Un. Now, by a, a bit of a buying spree, I meant that there are even more to come. There's a couple here from Alice, which uh, I described as a redesign. They appear to have an additional VCC pin along one edge, which could be quite handy. And uh, I also bought Pro Mini Enhancement 3.3 volt, which have selectable voltage, but not selectable frequency. So you could create a real mix up with this one. Uh, you could create a 5 volt 8 megahertz, for example. I'm not sure how you'd uh, program that, but they're on their way. Now, the next item is from Amazon. But what's nice about this is that I didn't order this. This was sent to me. Now I have opened it, but I'm going to do another unboxing here. Um, what it is, is a very nice mobile power bank described as a high capacity dual USB outputs power bank. And by high capacity, it actually means it doesn't say on the label, but uh, OK, let's open it up and have a look. Full unboxing this time. OK, so this is by EC Technology. There's the instruction manual and here's the power bank. Let's put the uh, wrapping to one side. And there it is. And it looks lovely. Isn't it looks absolutely gorgeous black with this deep red colored band around the outside we have two usbs if i can get them in the light yep so we've got a 5 volt 2.1 amp and a 5 volt uh, 1 amp got an led light and also a four led bar graph to tell how well it's charged and a button and an input socket and that's it this is very much a no frills power bank now it may not have many bells and whistles but what attracted me to this power bank was the capacity look at this 22,400 milliamp hours 22 amp hours that's awesome now I'm going to do a full review of this power bank in its own video um, fairly soon, but uh, I can't help trying to think what might be inside this. So here are a couple of 18650s and it looks to me like what it might be is two, 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 two. So I think what's in here are eight 18650s and it's heavy. It's really got some weight to it. I mean, it feels solid. So eight um, 18650s, so 22400 divided by eight. Let me just get my calculator. So it's 22400 uh, divided by eight cells, which is my guess, comes to 2800 milliamp hours per cell. Now that's a sensible number. So I think I could well be right uh, that there are eight 18650 cells in here. That's a lot. So compare this, uh, what I think is an eight cell power bank with the rather bonkers six cell power bank that I bought um, some time back. The six cells are just laid out there and then there's a very large circuit board. This must have quite a small circuit board, admittedly doesn't have many features, but eight cells, 22 amp hours, that's just awesome. So I'm gonna play with this thing for a few days, uh, use it to charge my devices. I've actually got my phone, the phone I'm filming on now, plugged into it uh, right now at this moment. 
So that's drawing half an amp. Now the phone's fully charged actually, so it probably won't be drawing that for long. Uh, 2.5 to about 3 watts. And the voltage is hovering at about 4.9 volts. So that's the EC technology, 22,400 milliamp hour mobile power bank. And uh, this one came from Amazon.co.uk and it is £35.99 free delivery. And so that is today's post bag.